Hey everyone, hope you're keeping well. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers the movie G1 reissue Hot Rod. I am so excited to get this open. This is the first Magenta release of this guy ever released. There was that Magenta prototype that was shown in the early adverts back in the 80s, but that was never publicly available. Like I said, this is the first release of this guy in his movie accurate Magenta color scheme. Let's take a quick look at the box before we get this open. Nice artwork there of Hot Rod, Autobot Cavalier, Autobot Hot Rod. Got that plastic repackaging again, except tape and glue. Hasbro, there's the transformation up there. There you go, there's the side. There is the back, there's that same text that was in the other boxes. And again, the word greatest <laughs> is all intact. There's a quote of his in his bio right there. There's some tech specs. There's some nice pictures of them in both modes. Um, I do have a little bit of a, a rip there in the packaging, which is unfortunate. That's because there was a there was a sticker that was there uh, when I first got this guy. You can actually see the the marks on the back of the box from when I, you know, was trying to get it off. Uh, I'll, I'll 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 show you what it looked like real quick. This is what <laughs> this is what it looked like. This is what's left of it. It was just this. This big uh, sticker that was on the back there that I, I just peeled off. I think I did a good job with that, except just for that there, but did the best I could. And still, the box looks fantastic. Plastic-free packaging. So let's get this opened up. There's a piece of paper. There's the instructions. Oh, the instructions are still underneath. There we go. There's the instructions. Let's just set them off to the side there now. And there is Hot Rod. Wow, that looks fantastic. Check that out. Love the way that looks. And his blasters will obviously be stored in there. Yeah, only only two twist ties holding them in. All right, so we'll get this guy and his accessories opened up and we'll take a closer look. So here we have Hot Rod out of the packaging and he looks fantastic. The colors look amazing on him. The magenta really pops and the tempergraph flames really work for this guy. You got the translucent blue up there for the windshield. You can see the seats in there. And as you can see, there's no chrome in this guy. The chrome on the exhaust pipes and the engine uh, is gone, which I feel like chrome could have worked because if you look at the 86 movie, these parts on Hot Rod look quite shiny. So I feel like chrome could have worked well for this guy. But having him in hand, I think this looks quite nice too. It's a uh, it's a kind of whitish gray, and I think it does work with the color scheme overall. And as you can see, there's a nice yellow spoiler. The The plastic seems to have a nice sheen to it. I really like how it interacts with the light. Very nice. And rubber tires. He still has the rubber tires, so he will roll beautifully. Now, in terms of what he comes with, he comes with this piece of paper right here just like the other figures in this line. He comes with his instruction booklet. Let's open this up. It's uh, quite a big instruction booklet when you open it all up. It's very well illustrated. And it carries on to both sides. So you'll be able to transform this figure with no bother at all. And he comes with his two blasters done in the same kind of uh, plastic, the kind of whitish grayish plastic as the exhausts and the engine. And I think these look very nice. And in terms of what you can do with them in vehicle mode, you can plug one of them onto the engine right there, just like with the, uh, the other releases of this guy. And you can <laughs> have that going on. You can only do it for one of them. Uh, the other one will just have to go off to the side or go in your pocket or something. And as I said before, rubber tires. So he rolls like a dream. Love it. Now in terms of how he looks with others, here he is with Retro Thundercracker. So you can get a sense of how he looks with him. And here's another thing that I'm finding out with Thundercracker. You actually can, uh, contrary to what I said in hounds video you can actually store megatron underneath the jet mode while the landing gear is attached if you just turn megatron around you can have the landing gear attached and megatron underneath the jet mode which is very very cool here he is with retro hound and as you can see i have the chrome blaster at the top here that i've added on myself but the gray parts right here and right here appear to be the same as the gray parts here so 
you can get a sense of how these guys look together. Here he is with G1 Optimus Prime. I wonder if they'll do a retro release of this guy. I wonder how that would look. Yeah, I'd be curious to see that. And here he is with the Walmart reissue of Hot Rod that came out a few years back. And it's here you can really see the differences in the coloration. As you can see, this guy, this guy is much more based on the original uh, vintage G1 figure, whereas this guy is animation accurate. This guy has a rub sign, whereas this guy does not. The windshield on him looks a bit more opaque than this one, and seems to be a slightly different shade of blue as well. Uh, the yellow up here is different. The oranges down there are different. As you can see, this guy's done in a more burgundy color. This guy's obviously magenta. And because this is the uh, the Walmart reissue, uh, it has the same, the, the same kind of shiny stickers that came with, I believe it was the Target Master release of this guy that came out years ago. The same version that has the modified holes in his hands. And that's another point, this guy has no stickers on him at all. And this guy obviously has a lot of chrome, a lot of shiny chrome, and a different shade of grey for the hubcaps. And coming back here, you can see the feet, <laughs> this guy's feet, are done in an unpainted die cast. And the, these feet are still die cast, so that is still awesome. Uh, whereas this guy has black painted die cast. But yeah, I love both of these guys. I think they both look fantastic in their own ways. And this is what their different blasters look like. These are done in dark grey, and these are done in light grey. Right, so let's get this guy transformed up. So the transformation is going to be exactly the same as other releases of this guy. Oh, there we go. Whew. Welcome to here. <laughs> Looking great so far. Flip everything around. Flip those. Nice die cast feet up. Bring this bit around. There are a couple ways to do this head transformation. Um, the instructions, let's see what the instructions say. Yeah, the instructions say to flip it forward. Uh, so you can do that, and this is what that will look like, which is good. And another way you can do it is you can flip the head this way and plug it in right back there. I think both of them look good. Um, I know he's slightly, with this configuration, he's, his head's facing ever so slightly down, whereas the other way, it's more... He's more facing kind of straight on. So it's really up to you which way you do it. Just for the sake of this video, we'll do it this way as per the instructions. So get everything all nice and tapped together. Take this part, move these out of the way. Take this part and we'll flip it up like that. And there we have Hot Rod in his robot mode. Looking awesome. Oh, the colors look amazing on this guy. The magenta, ah, oh, that magenta. And the orange and the flames and the yellow. The colors look fantastic on this guy. I like the added um, orange down there on the legs. That looks really good. This guy's a lot of fun even just to look at. Very, very cool. Uh, and let's give him his blasters. Plug that into there. Plug the other one. To there, and that's how these look. That looks great. Uh, I, I, again, this is the only uh, <laughs> the only articulation he has is just in the elbows. He can go like that and like that. Would have been nice if they maybe added in a joint in here, just right where the shoulder is, so he could move his arms up like that. But oh well, still a really really fun figure. And again, these colors are just doing him wonders. Now we'll bring in Hound, so you can see how these guys look together. <laughs> There's obviously a lot smaller than Hot Rod. Um, I'm not sure that's uh, that's <laughs> that's how it was in the in the show or the film, but uh, that's that's how they look together. Here he is with Thundercracker, and I think Thundercracker would probably be maybe a little bit bigger than him in the show. I know that uh, Thundercracker here was reformatted by Unicron, but I think if we were to put these guys side by side in the show, I think Thundercracker would be a little bigger than him. But I think they both look very nice. Here he is with Optimus Prime, and I think this scale actually works pretty well. Uh, Hot Rod, before he became Rodimus Prime, I think, you know, was 
a bit smaller than Optimus. So I think this scale works out quite nicely, in my opinion. And here he is with the previous reissue hot rod. As you can see, I didn't put the stickers in his thighs just because I thought they might peel off during transformation. But you can really see the differences between them. This guy obviously, again, has the very shiny stickers on him. This guy has no stickers. And he has, right up here, he has an added bit of paint up there on his forehead, whereas he does not. Uh, this guy has an added bit of orange paint there to match with the rest of the orange on his chest, whereas this is left unpainted. There's no paint down here on the legs, whereas this guy has a bunch of added paint on his legs. And here you can see the black feet and the silver feet. And actually, that's another point of articulation. The feet can <laughs> go go up and down like that. Uh, if that serves any purpose for you, then hey, go for it. And you can really see the difference in the shade of orange on the two figures all the way through. And you can see the difference in how the Autobot logo and the flames are done on both of them. And this guy has painted gray hands, whereas this guy's hands are left unpainted. And it is orange plastic painted gray, because you can see underneath there's orange. So they've cast his hands in orange plastic and then painted over them. So there we have that, and you can see the nice paint right there for the forearms. Very nice. So there we go, there is Retro Reissue Hot Rod. And again, I absolutely love what they've done with this figure. The color, like I said, the colors really, really pop and look just so eye-catching and so visually appealing. And I love the way this guy looks too. I've always been a fan of how the G1 toys were done with all these stickers and mechanical details and the chrome. I think it looks fantastic. But we live in a world where we can have both, and I love how both these guys look. And the way they feel, they both feel very solid and very well built. So I'll definitely be able to enjoy both these guys, and I am so glad that I picked this guy up and added him to the collection. He is fantastic. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this wee look at Retro Reissue Hot Rod, and feel free to let me know your thoughts about him in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one.